Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia, one of the hottest stars in the game today. He just defeated Devin the Dream Haney. Then we have Oscar De La Hoya. We all know Oscar was a five division world champion, a Hall of Fame fighter. Now he's a Hall of Fame promoter. Then we have King Canelo Alvarez, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion, and he's the face of boxing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Canelo Alvarez tell Oscar De La Hoya to stay the F away from me. I don't want you in my life, none whatsoever. I don't like you. You're a snake. You're a backstabber. I know what type of person you are, man. I know what type of person you are. You're no good. You feel me? You're no good, and I don't respect you at all. You feel me? Y'all know Canelo do not got no love for Oscar De La Hoya, none whatsoever, bro. None whatsoever. Oscar De La Hoya played him and played him hard when Canelo was loyal to that man. Very loyal. And Canelo want Ryan Garcia to get the hell away from Oscar, what he been trying to tell him all this time, because all Oscar doing is using him to make a dollar off of him. He don't care about his well-being or what's going to happen to him after his career. Now, Oscar De La Hoya would tell you a different thing, right? Oscar know how to put on that smile. He know how to, you know, fake it till he make it on the people and things of that nature. And I respect Oscar De La Hoya. Like, Oscar De La Hoya is one of my favorite fighters of all time. I mean, all time. I love the way he fight. If you play me on Fight Night Champions, um, all I use is Oscar De La Hoya. To be honest with you, I can use any other fighter, but Oscar is my go-to. You feel me? He fought every and anybody. Um, like I say, five division world champion, man. You don't become a five division world champion not being good. But as a promoter, right? As a promoter, um, he's shady. You feel me? He's shady. He did Canelo Alvarez wrong, and Canelo Alvarez has the proof to back it up. If you don't know the story, right? I'll break it down to y'all. But, you know, Canelo has the proof to back it up on how Oscar De La Hoya did him dirty, and he's seen that Golden Boy didn't have no love for him for real. Only thing Golden Boy wanted to do was make money off of him. Now, when it comes to King Ryan Garcia, we all know he had his problems with Oscar De La Hoya, right? He wanted to get away from Oscar, but that contract won't let him. You know what I mean, the contract won't let him. And we all know for a minute they was beefing, and Oscar was talking all the shit in the world about Ryan, and Ryan was going back at him. But before that, Oscar had Ryan Garcia change up on Canelo and Eddie Reynoso. You know what I mean? Ryan Garcia didn't just leave Canelo and Eddie Count for no reason. You know what I mean? He just didn't leave that camp for no reason. It was Oscar in this earth making sure he get Ryan away from Canelo so Canelo won't give him the game on who he really is. You feel me? And, you know, he was successful at that. Very successful. To where Ryan ended up leaving um, Eddie Reynoso. And not only leaving Eddie, you know what I mean? Making up things, you know, to make it as if Eddie wasn't trying to train him and wasn't there for him. And make it up as if they were just worrying about Canelo and things of that nature which wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? Ryan knew Canelo had nothing but his best interest at heart. Nothing but his best interest at heart. And when Canelo came out and made that statement on Ryan Garcia, he needed to stay in the gym, not come and just leave, and thinking he can do what he want to do like a fucking diva because it don't work that way. It don't work that way. If I'm the face of boxing, and I got my ass here every day working my ass off, learning new things in the gym, whether I'm, you know what I'm saying, 100%, 50% or 20%, I'm doing what I got to do. You understand? I'm doing what I got to do to guard her and, and dedicate myself to this sport. That's a dangerous sport. But give it my all and so I can be great and give the people what they deserve. You know what I mean? That's all I, um, Canelo was telling Ryan. And Ryan, he didn't like it at that time because he was being a damn diva. And he wasn't just being a diva for no reason. He was being a diva because Oscar De La Hoya got into his head. You feel me? Got into his head and had him turn and turn to something that he wasn't. And Oscar know it's true. He know it's true. That's why if you go at it with him, he'll show his true colors. You know your true colors. You know what I mean? He going to show them true colors, bro. All the time, he going to show his true colors. All you got to do is pay attention and, 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 and wait for him to expose himself. Now, what Oscar did to Canelo Alvarez was he tried to sign Canelo up for a Triple G fight without Canelo Alvarez knowing. 
That's when everybody thought Canelo was afraid of Triple G and all this and all that. When he didn't even talk to Canelo about the fight. Canelo got done with the fight that he was having. And he had a whole big court case going on in Miami. You know what I mean? But Oscar De La Hoya told Canelo he was going to take care of that situation that was going on in Miami. And he didn't have to worry about it. But yet, here it come. After the fight, Canelo Alvarez had to go to court and deal with the situation on his own. Right? Deal with that situation on his own. Oscar never took care of it. Never even mentioned it. Didn't even have it on his schedule to go out there and even look into it. And that's when Canelo knew that this dude was a fucking scumbag. He's a low life, And he's a lame. And I got to get the hell away from him. And I've been loyal to this dude, showing love to him and his company, staying down when everybody else left. When everybody else left. Shouts out to Richard Schaefer, man. Richard, you know, let people know what was going down with Oscar. And he made the best decision that he, he can never make. And let's get them fighters over to PBC and Al Heyman. You know what I mean? And Richard wanted Canelo to go over as well. But Canelo said, no, Rich, I fuck with you heavy. I appreciate you for discovering me and bringing me to Golden Boy. But, you know, I signed a contract. I'm with them. I'm going to stay down with them. I mean, I'm going to stay down with him. Ain't nobody over here to, you know, to hold him down. I'm going to show him that I'm loyal, bro. It ain't just about the money. It's about being loyal. And Canelo Alvarez was loyal to the soil. But he found out that Oscar will not loyal back. So now, with the situation happening with that, and then, you know, the situation happened with the zone and the contract with Oscar, when, you know, um, Oscar was making sure he was getting a lot of money up off of Canelo. When Canelo signed that, that you know, that history deal, Right? I think it was like a 300 something million dollar contract he had with his own. And I think Oscar was getting a nice little chunk of change up out of that 300 M's. You feel me? A nice chunk of change. And that's when he was trying to, you know, guide Canelo towards Triple G without answering with Canelo or checking in with Canelo to say, hey, is this what we're doing? You know what I mean? He just had Canelo already signed up next to go fight Triple G because, you know, he had to give the zone what they was looking for. That's when Canelo said, nope, I'm not doing that shit. Got out of that contract. Got away from Oscar. You know, I think he had to pay a couple of dollars to get himself up out the contract. After he got up out the contract, he went and signed another deal with the zone. You feel me? And still end up fighting Triple G three times. And to me, he beat his ass all three times. But we know the first one was a draw. And he came back, stopped him in the second. And in the third, we all know it was no contest. Yeah. But people was crying. Oh, I, oh man, Triple G was old and Canelo did this and Canelo did. Nah, nah, we don't want to hear that cry, baby ish. We don't want to hear it. At the end of the day, man, look, Canelo is that guy. Canelo ain't stupid at all. He know what Oscar De La Hoya is. He don't want no parts of that man. It don't matter what he's talking about. Okay, we got a fight going on with Golden Boy and and you know, PBC and you know the the new network. So I'ma honor that. Right? I'm fighting Jaime Munguia, but I don't want to be nowhere near that dude. That dude will not ask me no questions. When we on the, um, you know, the press conferences, keep his ass all the way over there, bro. All the way over there. Keep him away from me. Don't even let him come close to me. Otherwise, I just might swing off and break his damn jaw. Period. Because he act like he wanted to fight Canelo punk faking, but he knew Canelo would break his old ass down, so he wasn't stupid. So at the end of the day, man, listen, Canelo ain't playing no games with nobody. Oscar De La Hoya step out his way. Don't look his way. Don't say nothing to him. And Ryan Garcia, you better take heed, bro. Because if he'll do that to a Canelo Alvarez, the face of boxing, imagine what he'll do to you. You know what I mean? Be smart. Straight like that, and might be on to the next.